Well, we've got a new arrival, and I'm pleased and sad at the same time because we lost our orange bitey thing, Venom, which I, I have no idea why. There were no parasites, it, the temperature and humidity were just right. I just can't work out what happened, but he never seemed fully settled after I cleaned him out of his uh, previous enclosure, so I don't know. Um, it was very sad, and we were all pretty devastated. And this is our new arrival. This is uh, Kalen, who's been named after a character in Legend of the Seeker. So this is Ben's new orange bitey thing. And as you can see, just arrived, and is just now tucking into a cricket. So that's good news. Everyone else is doing fine at the moment. So a quick rehouse of our Mexican filet. So not a lot of decoration, but I really need a lot. I don't think. There he is, that's Bilbo. He's a cute boy, there's no doubt about that. So I've made a little hide for him there. A couple of entrance and ex exits. He's got more substrate than he had. So he should be able to uh, burrow and do whatever he wants to do. So I'm hoping you'll like it in there. It's a little damper than, than his, uh, there's a bit more moisture in there than there was in his previous environment, but that will dry out. Um, he'll be fine. So really needed it, it was overdue. So there we go, job done. On to the next thing. Rehouse. I've just rehoused our Mexican fire leg. Our Haitian burn bird eater, Gordon, is in that enclosure at the moment, which is not very secure, which is why it's got brown tape holding the lid on. Um, he's outgrown that, quite significantly outgrown it. And, all, and he's going in here. Now, it looks a bit plain and bare at the moment, but there's a lot of substrate in there. And He's got that, I'm hoping he'll use that uh, log as his uh, new home. So anyway, right, I'm going to do this. I'm not going to film it because I think that could be a disaster. So that's Gordon. He is enormous and I have a horrible feeling that he's a boy. But this is his new environment. So there he is. That's Gordon. Came out without too much hassle. He's starting to look like a gold, uh, Haitian brown now, isn't he? Not as nasty as they, as they can be, by any means. But then if he's a boy, that might explain it. No. So there we are, so that's him. So I'm going to stop this now, and I'm going to get him in. Hopefully, move him towards that log, so he can find his feet a bit. Okay, guys. I'm going to stab him too much, but just... And there's a dendum, so you can see him. Uh, oh, sorry, is it? Clean this off, it still looks crabby. Uh, oh, sorry, fella. There he is. But he's in his new home and he's having an explore, so hopefully he'll find his way in a minute. Okay. Oh, uh, dear. I missed the bam, but uh, this is our Hayish and Brown Bird Eater, Gordon. We rehoused. We put him in. Hold on, let me just pull back. Put him in here. And. Uh, He's built this kind of redoubt for himself in that log that we left there for him. He seems pretty happy. I put the, a huge cricket in there just a second ago, and uh, well, I had it in seconds. I was kind of hoping I might catch it on uh, on camera, but no such luck. No messing about with Gordon. He's a tremendous eater. I fear another boy here, but <clears throat> can't be certain. But hey-ho, I'm having a lot of luck. Not having a lot of luck in getting some girls that we can keep for a long time, but we still love them anyway. And uh, he is a pretty cracking spider, so can't complain. So anyway, that's Gordon having his first meal in this uh, new enclosure. So, yeah. Okay, guys. Look at this, guys. We've just had another shed. I don't know if you can see it there. There's the oh, shed. Malt. Malt! Malt boy, malt, not shed. There he is. I can think you can see now. He really does look like a little tiny tiger rump, doesn't he? Look at that look at that colouring and everything. So that was a bit of a surprise this morning. Obviously shed overnight because I saw I looked to him yesterday. There was no evidence of it then. But there. What a little beauty. Beautiful little spider. Anyway, so that's good news. Good start to the day. Right, more news later.
this is our big girl Melody, who we were hoping was gravid, but I don't think so now. Just done a little maintenance in her enclosure. There it is. She's just eating a cricket, so she's uh, she's doing okay. <coughs> oh, I can't shift this cough. Um, uh, I think we might try to might try to breed her again, but she's looking like she's going to molt, isn't she? She's in pre-molt, maybe. Don't know. Race against time, I think. I'm, I'm pretty sure she isn't gravid now. She's a huge girl, though. And she's ever so pretty. And quite a nice temperament, too, really, as well. Always eats. Don't get the problem of fasting that we do with uh, our other mature female, Rana. And it's just a, it's just a nice, lovely, beautiful spider, really. Okay, that's Melody. We've confirmed, several people have confirmed for us that that is in fact an egg sac. So we're going to uh, try and take that out at some point. There's a species, is it? Cookie Monster asked me. Uh, no idea, I'm sorry, I have no idea. I'd like, to, uh, I'd like to enlighten you, but no idea. So I'll try and find out there. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't wasn't meant to be filming this really but uh, well anyway that's uh, Iko having a bit of a groom I think he's just caught the I think he must have caught last night the one of the cockroaches that I put in here for him so just give me a bit of an idea I can't give you a size reference he's oh I don't know it's uh, probably about the same size as my hand so it's probably about eight eight on eight inches probably seven and a half eight inches now um, he's matured out, I think. He's got a hooks, leg hook slit, which is a bit disappointing. But uh, that's the way it goes. But he's very gorgeous. Look, I'll give you a sort of. I don't know, I've cleaned this glass over and over, but it still, it still remains uh, a little bit manky. But anyway, there he is. That's Ico. That's the big boy. Beautiful. Okay, so onwards and upwards, other things to do. Quick glimpse of this because I think it's cool. Um, the Thrixopelma, uh, Peruvian orange rump, has created this kind of web cocoon with substrate, web and the plant from the enclosure. And I think it's multi. So, um, just to give you an idea of the structure, it's pretty cool. Uh, absolutely solid, it's a complete, it's a complete cocoon. Which is brilliant. So I thought I'd just give you a, a show of that while I'm doing some maintenance and stuff. I'm fascinated by their building. I really am. I think um, animals that can construct the elaborate dwellings they do with web and substrate and other materials around them have got to be pretty amazing animals. But uh, anyway, and there we go. That's the Thrix of Palma. That's um, uh, Weasley. Got a name there, Weasley. Well, it's not exactly a threat posture, is it? Um, I suppose it's about as much as I ever get from this uh, this fella. This is Marley, my Brazilian black, who I treasure largely not only because he or she is absolutely beautiful, but also because um, we nearly lost them. So. We had to put uh, Marley in an ICU for a little while, and uh, and came back from the dead almost, which was just such a relief. I'll show you what I can of this. This is um, our chili flame pepper. He's built this fabulous little cave under this piece of cork bark in our enclosure. And um, Guitar Guy, 1031, he's just a top fella, brilliant spider keeper, was good enough to show me his big girls. This is our little girl. I'm going to put a cricket in, but I don't know whether she'll eat it or not. But I'm not going to show it because it, I'm expecting a no, a no show. But anyway, that's her, that's, she's in there, she's happy enough. Um, Pepper. Spicy little pepper, our baby chili flame. This is our 
Chaco Goldney Vara. Um, keeps emptying out her water bowl. But uh, she's doing alright. She's doing pretty well. Thank you. Pretty girl. She likes the space that we've given her anyway, which is good. And just try to get you a, a good picture of uh, Robbie, our curly hair. Try again. There he is. Look at the colours in his carapace. And the sort of red, coppery colour on his uh, abdomen and his legs. Beautiful. I'm just going to try and uh, do a bit of maintenance. So I'll show you him again in a moment. Okay guys, major undertaking. Semi-major undertaking. We've got a big Brazilian white knee in this container <coughs> because we need to clean out her enclosure which is, well, she's overdue, she needs a clean and I mean she's got, because it's slightly damper in there she's got some little mini mushrooms growing at the front there so I'm going to get her out of here and, and sort her out so I've got a new hide for her and everything Sorry, you can't see that very well. Maybe that's better without the glare. I've got a new hide. I'm taking that um, that piece of log out and I'm going to give that to our uh, Green Bottle Blue, Webster. And uh, I'm in the flower pot. She used to love that flower pot, but that's gone. So anyway, so I'm going to... This is, this is what it looks like right now. I will show you the finished product with her in it, with her new hide and everything else, when I'm done. Alright guys, so stay tuned. Right, here we go guys. Hi guys, um, this is my Vazzle's controller. Controller? Controller. What are you talking about? Like, controller? <laughs> I was just think thinking she's a about... Game? I just, I was, I was thinking about the new Marvel uh, superhero game of Ghost Rider. Is. Right. Which is not as cool as this tarantula. Which is not as cool as this tarantula here. But, she, shall I go and get her? No, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just take a break. We just want to show you people what we've done. We've got, it's damp underneath. We've put dry substrate on top because she really doesn't like walking around on wet substrate. I tell you that, she we've really doesn't like We've given her a it. great big cave because she likes a cave. I mean, she, I don't know about burrowing, I don't know. But uh, she certainly likes. We've gave her um, a little. She used to exit. like a flower pot, which is too small, and a cave, which is too small. We've given her this big cave, which was once Ico's, and we've given her some plants and some cork bark, and uh, now we're gonna go and put her in. See. So. Hi guys. That was pretty painless. She had a bit of a flick of hair. Yeah, I. Th She's I thought she hit me then. No, she didn't hit. She didn't get us, did she? Thankfully. But this is our new enclosure, so. Hold on. Above you there, guys, you can see her. Guys, How beautiful is that? Guys, I'm so she is a super looking tarantula, isn't she? Man? She's gone, she just ran into it like a beat She was when she's in the conclusion, she's still, still kicking hands. Yep, she was. Well, this is her new home. I didn't hard. say controller, you didn't say controller, which is marvelous. Look at her butt, everybody. Oh, oh, Matthew says abdomen. Right, so anyway, that's it. Look at my finger. What do you all say to the? What do you all say to the guys? Thank you for watching. Certainly, certainly. Thank you for watching. Keep you posted. Okay, thanks for that <laughs> totally pointless uh, hand gesture there. That it was, was totally rock and roll. Rock and roll. All right, okay. It's, it's like more like shock and shawl. That was.